Hi, are you looking for a way to edit audio and video for your e-learning module without those expensive editing programs? Then won't, don't miss a single second of this video because I'll show you exactly what options you have in Articulate Storyline to edit audio and video yourself. Hi, my name is Mark Spermon from Upward Online Learning and I teach you how to create interactive e-learning modules with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Here I have a slide with a video in my Storyline project. And now let's see how we can edit this. So there are several options. If you click the video, you see that the options tab will appear. So if you click on the options tab, you can click edit video. What you also can do is click with your right mouse and here click on edit video. Now Storyline will open the edit video window. So in the video editor at the top right, you see the option to change your video. And with this option, you can replace an existing video in Storyline without deleting the video from your slide. And all the set triggers will continue to work as normal if you change the video with this option. If you click the trim options, you see the two draggable markers appear on your timeline that you can move. So you can easily uh, cut off the beginning or the end of your video. And if you want to work uh, very precisely, you can use the zoom option here uh, to zoom in on the timeline of your video. So if I drag this uh, to the right, you'll see that my timeline becomes larger and it's easier to cut off the specific place of the video that I won't need, for instance, at the beginning or at the end of my video. And once you've made your changes, you can immediately view your modified video by clicking on the play and pause button here at the bottom of the video editor. And are you still not satisfied with the adjustments you just made? Then you can easily click on the reset video option and Storyline will undo all the changes so you can get back to the original video and do your editing again. So if you want to adjust the size of your video, you can click on the crop option. And now a rectangular frame appears, which is adjustable in width and height. So you can drag it in width and height. And you can also move the field. And to work very precisely, you can see the dimensions of the crop field here at the bottom of the video editor. Now, if you're satisfied, click on save and close and your video will be trimmed. And what we just said for the trim option, the same applies to the crop option. Are you not satisfied and do you want to start all over again? Then open the video editor again and click on the reset video option. And Storyline makes all the changes undone and you can edit your original video. Now you can also uh, easily adjust the sound of the video in Articulate Storyline. So if your video is too loud or too soft, you can adjust the sound by clicking on the volume uh, button. And here you can turn the volume up or down. Now note that the volume changes only when you have clicked on the save and close in the video editor. So you cannot hear the changing of the sound in the preview option. Even a brightness and contrast are easily adjustable in Articulate Storyline in your video editor. You can enter a number or click on the, on the up or down arrows and you will see immediately the change in your video. You can also provide your videos with a logo or watermark. If you are clicking insert logo and you choose for instance a transparent PNG logo and you click open, you see that the logo appears in your video and you can drag it and position it on the right place. Uh, pay attention to the preview of your video that it will not see the logo that you've just inserted. So the logo is only visible when you've clicked on save and close and then if you're watching your video. So if you're satisfied with all the changes you've made in your video, you can click on save and close and Storyline will edit the video and there will be a new video on your timeline. You'll see here that, for instance, uh, the logo is on the timeline. On my other slide in this project, there's an audio file and you can change this on the same way as we did with the video file. If you select it, you can go to options and you can select the audio editor. And now the audio editor in Storyline will open. And here you have several options. For instance, import, 
With import, you can add an extra audio file uh, to this existing audio file so that you can combine two audio files into one single audio file in Storyline. If you're not satisfied with a specific part of your audio or a specific part is no longer relevant, then you can select the part of your audio file and click on the delete button on your keyboard. And this piece of audio file will be deleted from your audio file in Storyline. And if you only want to save a specific part of your audio file on your slide in Storyline, then you can select a piece of your video and click on the crop button. And Storyline now only shows the file that you've selected and deleted all the unselected audio. And so you will only keep the part of the audio file that you need on your slide and uh, Storyline deletes the rest of it. And with the silence button in Storyline, you can add a silence in your audio file. For example, because a voiceover reads sentences way too quickly after each other. Now select a place in the timeline where you want to add your silence. And now you can indicate how long the silence should last. Uh, for instance, one second. And if you click OK, Storyline will add a silence for one second in the audio file. And if the sound of your audio is too soft or too loud, you can use the volume option to increase or decrease the sound of your audio by dragging the slider to the left for a decrease and to the right to increase the sound of your audio. And if you have done, you can click on OK. Now, do you want to work on a specific piece of audio? Then you can select it and click on the zoom selection option. And now Storyline enlarges this piece of audio so you can make specific changes in your audio file. Now, do you want to see your entire audio file again? Then click on show all and Storyline zooms out again and you will see your entire audio file again. Now, at the bottom right, you can use also the slider to increase or decrease the audio timeline if you want to make specific changes in your audio file. And when you've finished making all the changes on your audio file, then click on save and close and Storyline will automatically save the modified audio file to your slide. So do you have any questions about Articulate Storyline in common? Then please leave a comment below this video and I'll promise to answer it. If this video was useful to you, then hit the like button below. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that I publish every Thursday on YouTube. Thanks for watching and have a great day!